Hello everyone and welcome to this Blender tutorial brought to you by Louis Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can apply custom shapes to your armature. So what I mean by that is basically um, this is a nice rig which I just finished and you can see I have shapes that act like the bones. That's because I have replaced the shape with this object. Okay, so it doesn't the custom shape don't only make your rig look really advanced and beautiful It also has some utilities uh, For example, this can be able to direct the animator that this rotates um, the, In the X as axis and this also guides the animation animator to tell them how it's gonna rotate so it comes in handy uh, In production settings. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can achieve this inside blender so if you you've not if you're not really familiar with how to rig in blender i have tutorials in this channel which you could check out um, but for today it's gonna be pretty simple and straightforward and yeah so let's start up i'm just gonna hit the new okay and so let's add a simple amateur because that's what we need for this tutorial so we'll add a single bone okay and i will just pop into the edit mode of the bone and then extrude some couple of bones okay so we'll be playing with different method of applying custom shapes so the two main method or the two main ways you can create custom shape is either by using the empty or using objects so let's start with the empty so we go to add um so we have to be in object mode so we go to the add and empty so i'm gonna select my favorite which is a sphere because it has it looks nice and cool um, so we need to select the bone once more and to be able to change the custom shape you have to go into the pose mode okay so in the pose mode we select this first bone and now we want to go to this bone icon right here and scroll down so you can see viewport display so once you see this then you can see this um, nice input where you could input the object and it's custom custom object as i said here so there are two ways you could select your object um the first way is you could just scroll and find your object in this case we have we can select empty or you could just use the eyedropper tool which is more efficient so you can just click on the viewport and it's going to select it for you okay so um once you have that selected you are good to go you could also play with this to increase the scale or decrease the scale but i don't really advise it um i prefer um, changing the scales with the custom object itself okay so to like manipulate this or change the scale we could go into the data panel for the empty and play with the size okay and this is to the same one we can rotate this okay and also you could switch the display type you could use cube you could use an image you could use a cone so you could just play around with so many stuff so that's that for the empty so the empty is quite handy it's quite fast to set up especially when you're not looking for something advanced or a very complex shape uh, but if you're trying to get something more complex that's when you have to use the object so let's do that so let's just add a basic sphere i'm um, sorry, sorry um i'm just gonna place it here where we could see it so we want this to serve as a custom shape to this particular bone so as we did earlier we can select this bone and switch to the pose mode select the right bone we want to apply it to and custom object the circle okay so now things get a bit um com complex not really complex but a bit it may seem a bit confusing because you could see here that this is um, facing um, the face placement or the rotation of the circle is quite different from the bone uh, yeah that's quite obvious uh, so one of the reason is that objects use it uh, the blender bone system uses um, no, normally uses y for up and the object uses z for up and so sometimes the rotation can play a factor to that so there's no work around which i know if you know of anyone you can leave it in the comment we are all trying to learn um so you could help me know about that but from what i know um the way you could uh, ma manipulate this is to go into the edit mode 
okay so let's say we want to make this particular bone looks be in this place um look, take this rotation so we just need to rotate this rotate x 90 degrees i'm sorry rotate x 90 degrees so as you can see it's now facing the position so normally if i want to like get really advanced i try to make match the object to the bone so i play around okay so it's matching now nice so now you can customize it now that you know everything is working we could delete this we could of this hard okay so that's that so we, you could also scale it down slightly and this works for text you could create a text up change it to an object and apply it as a custom object so finally the last one we'll be looking into is objects with face so this is an example of that this plane has a face and we want to apply it as a custom object so let's do that so we'll select the last and final bone same drill we're going to look for viewport display custom object we select the plane and as you can see here we are getting the face um, which we don't really want it's quite distracting especially when you are trying to animate something so we want to make it have wireframe so that's easy you just click on the wireframe and yeah you fix that so as we did earlier we could rotate this x 90 degrees okay so most of the times it's not as straightforward as this because your bone retention may be facing a very funny way so you just have to play with the object in edit mode to be able to match the look you're trying to go for so before we go um, one final thing that you may run into and let me show tell you how to fix it so let's say for example we have this custom object and we want to just do some modeling and make it more advanced so if we're going to the uh, object mode you can see the bone copies that and most of the times these wires are quite distracting and, and I usually don't want that so I just basically want the outline I don't want the wires inside so I could do X delete um, I could just hit F so it's going to it's not a very work, a good geometry but it works for this instance it's just going to fill everything up with the face and remove any um, wires inside so yes that's it guys um, I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you enjoyed it give me a thumbs up and if, if you wish to see more from me don't forget to hit that subscribe button so thank you guys for watching bye bye see you next time